everyone. This video, we're doing a multiple choice question and trying to find the length of BC. And we also uh, have another multiple choice question um, stating which of the following is false. So let's start with number one here. And we have to find um, the length of BC. So we'll just call that X. Now based off that we have parallel lines here, I know that angle E is congruent to angle A due to your vertical, uh, interior vertical angles theorem. And that has to do with these are parallel lines. So angle E is congruent to angle A and also angle B is congruent to angle D. So angle B is congruent to angle uh, D. And we also know that due the, to the reflexive property, angle C is congruent to angle C. So I'm going to write a similarity statement and write this as triangle. And I'll just use the top one here. A, B, C is similar. And now let's match up the angles. Angle uh, A goes with um, angle E. Uh, B goes with D. And C is with itself. So we want B, C. If you look at B, C here, we're also going to look at DC. So BC, um, we can say is uh, X divided by DC. So what is DC? DC is 5. All right now, let's find something else that we know and we can set up a proportion. So um, we also know that um, AC is um, can, is uh, similar to E uh, C. So A C is four, and E C is seven. So to solve for X, we're just going to cross multiply, and you're going to cross this up here, and you get X equals twenty divided by seven. So your answer is going to be D. So just make sure you match everything up based off your similarity statement here. Okay, the next one we have uh, triangles A, B, C are right triangles. So I'm just going to draw them. So this one would be, we'd call this A, B, C. And um, D, E, F. Um, Let's call, oh, we have to write this out. So A, B, and B, C. So I did that right. These are the legs. So these are your legs. And then for uh, D, E, and E, F are the legs of the second. So let's do the second one. So I want D, E, and E, F to be these legs. So again, these are your legs. These are legs. All right, so we know that they are right triangles and that they're similar. So what we know is that angle A is congruent to angle D. So this is true. A, okay, let's look at this one. Uh, AC, which is this one. is to DF, we're just trying to match it up, SAB is to DE. So that's true. So we're just, that is true. So the one that's false is AC equals DF. These aren't uh, equal because this side uh, can be bigger. All right, so because they're similar, they don't have to equal. 
So I could let this be 3 and my scale factor be 2 and this side be 6. So this is false. And this part is just a similarity statement. So that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. <music>